Good, gente. It's your boy, Conejo. Ya saben, man. We're right here chilling. I mean, it's fucking cold. I feel a little better, though. You know what I'm saying? But on this one, um, I kind of wanted to talk about something that it's been asked a couple of times, right? And I, I don't know if people haven't seen videos on other channels that they don't post about them or maybe they're, they just don't believe them no more. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so they re-asked me if uh, the buyback's real, homie. Is, is that a real thing for like the Norteños and shit? Well, pretty much it is, homie. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to explain a little bit why they have the whole buyback and all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much um, that's what I'm going to be talking on this video, homie. So I hope you guys like it. If you guys do, make sure to put thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, homie, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, pretty much, uh, the Norteño started doing the whole buyback, like, like in the early or late two, 2000s, you know what I'm saying? Um, pretty much, uh, it was because they seen that there was a big fallout, homie, of homies and shit, you know what I mean? That were falling off and becoming other stuff like riders or joining other groups, homie, you know what I mean? So pretty much, um... The whole buyback was to bring back homies that didn't really want to partake on the whole political thing, right? Because they have some foods that when they would do the buyback, they would end up becoming uh, like civilians, homie. You know what I'm saying? I know there's a couple people right here in Watson that part partook on that. You know, they did the whole buyback. And um, for some of them, it worked out, you know, especially the ones that continue to be doing some legal activities where they continue paying them, you know, for like a protection fee. Um, is it re recommendable to do the whole buyback? Uh, in my opinion, no, homie, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because I also seen some homies that went back and, um, ended up getting whacked, homie, you know, which is kind of fucked up. Um, I, I'm not sure if they did the whole buyback or they did the whole going back with obligations that they had to fucking do, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, homie, um, people that do go, uh, and do the buyback, you got to understand that you're still not going to be looked at as a regular old Norteño, you know what I'm saying, before you fell off or whatever, right? Or whatever happened before you defected. Um, they're not going to look at you the same, homie. They're going to look at you like a piece of shit regardless, homie. You're still going to have a question mark on you. And it's kind of fucked up, homie, but it it, it happens, you know what I'm saying? Um, I know some people that have done the buyback, and it's it works out for a little bit to the point where... Once they finish using them, uh, I mean, they get rid of them, you know? But it's funny, homie, uh, that the homie had asked, like, hey, bro, I thought that shit was a joke. Uh, me too, bro. Me personally too. When I when, when uh, I first heard about it, that you were able to fucking give money to go back active, uh, I looked at it and I was like, damn, these fools really want to make money off you. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, at the end of the day, that's all they care about, homie. It's money. It's if uh, you can hook up their bank account, maybe buy something for their family members out here in the calles, ah, you know what I mean, it's all a used game, homie, which is kind of sad, but it is happening, homie, uh, there's a lot of people that did do the buyback, it got to the kind of to the point where they're recruiting, they're letting fools come back now, you know what I'm saying, um, especially since they had the whole like, real political things going on right now with the whole state and feds and all this shit where they really lost a lot of numbers. Um, I remember, like, I want to say three or four years, like, like, three years ago, like, three years ago, they started doing, uh, uh there was, like, a kite or something that went around where I got to see it, right, from one of my family members, and uh, he was like, hey, bro, like, if you're good on paperwork, like, your paperwork's clean and all that, homie, you can come back. And I told him straight up, I was like, bro, that's something that I would never do, homie, you know? Because um, I know at the end of the day, I'm still going to be looked at as, like, trash. Two, um, I'm never going to be as comfortable as I used to be with them, right? Because I already know that I already got defected or fucked up or something, right? So I'm always going to be having to look over my shoulder. And it shouldn't be like that, especially when you're participating with the group that they're supposed to be your voice. Um... So it's 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 a little weird, homie. You know what I'm saying? I was tripping out on this. I, I think the bottle or the cold is pushing the little uh, thing away from the thing. I gotta send this out already. Spence out, guys. Um, so pretty much, it is a real thing, homie. The buyback is a real thing, eh? Um, a lot of people will consider it 
Me, personally, I don't recommend people doing it. I mean, at the end of the day, they're just going to use you. They're going to get your money, keep you around for a month or two or maybe a year or so. Depends on me until they see a, big, a better opportunity for them to mess you up. You know what I'm saying? They might send you to go do a pegada or something, catch more time. And at the same time, they're getting rid of you and oh boy. You know what I mean? But it is a real thing, homie, just so people are aware. And it's all because they have seen that pretty much um, a lot of homies, right, that are my generation pretty much, they were real, uh, they were really becoming like real rebels, you know what I mean, where we don't like to be told what to do, homie, you know what I'm saying, I know I don't, you know what I mean, I didn't listen to my parents, homie, um, why am I going to listen to another man, you know, um, and in all reality, homie, um, that's what tend to happen, you know, there was a lot of homies that said, fuck this, and Decided to do their own thing, homie, you know what I mean? Um, some fools fell off because they didn't want to work out. Some fools fell off because they didn't want to fucking do the essays or none of that shit, right? Or having to wake up hella early. Um, they wanted to do their own program, homie, you know what I'm saying? Because out here in the streets, let's be quite real. Gang members, they're not over here fucking obeying another gang member, homie. At the end of the day, they're still doing what the fuck they want to do, you know? So they're still, they still have their own decisions, even though they know that if they do a little certain thing, it can cost them their career or whatever, right? But they still, they still do the, they run their own program technically. So when they get locked up, um, it gets really different compared to how it is in the streets. And um, pretty much they seen the big fallout of homies like in the 90s, like late 90s, you know? They started seeing like a hell of homies fall off Early 2000s, there was a lot of dropouts. And they ended up saying, fuck it, homie. That's why they did the buyback thing, right? Um, so me personally, like I've been telling you guys, it is real. Don't recommend it because I've seen people just get used and abused. And yeah, man. So I hope you guys like this video, man. I'm, I'm going to end it right here. I know it's short, but it's because there's a lot of people that, that made videos about this. You know what I mean? So with all that being said, man, I'm, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, put a thumbs up. If you didn't, put a thumbs down. That's just for free, homie. It's all good. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't, homie. And yeah, man, it's your boy Conejo, and we're out.